it's April with Hair 101 and today we're going to learn how to do the Katniss Everdeen hair from the new trailer Catching Fire. Um, you're going to have to have long hair to do this. Unfortunately for me I can't have this but um, you're going to start by just putting a bunch of loose curls in all of the hair and then you're going to take and she has bangs so I'm going to just hairspray them down and I'm going to part it on the left side. All right, so now we're going to take take your fingers and you're just going to take everything from about two inches above the ears on both sides and just do a round on the head, right on the roll of the head there. So that's all the hair you're going to be working with for the braid. You're going to take all this hair and you're going to comb it all over to her right side. Now this braid is a seven strand braid and so you're going to have to have two sets of hands to do this. Um, it's not something you can do on yourself. If you can figure out how to do it on yourself, let me know because I'd like to see that. But for now we're just going to have the person you're doing the hair on hold a certain side of the braid and I'll show you how to do that. So once you get all the hair combed out and over to this right side, you're going to split it in half almost. You're going to do a little bit more on the side closer to their face. So a little bit less than half will be on the back side. And that's a little bit more. There we go. All right, when you get that, you're going to have them hold this back ponytail while you work on this front one. Now since her bangs are so short, I'm not going to really count those in yet. I'm just going to kind of let them hang there. And I'm going to split this section into four pieces. And make them as even as you can. So the way I'm going to do that is just put three fingers right in there. And if that doesn't feel right, then just adjust a little bit. So this one over here feels a little bit thin, so I'll just add in. So once you get them to where you feel like they're about the same size, then add the bangs into that first one. And you can spray it a little bit more just to kind of glue them in. If you don't have bangs, awesome. You don't need to worry about it. But Okay, so now here's where it gets a little bit tricky, but if you stay with me here, you're going to figure out it's really not that hard. This end piece is gonna go over the top of the next one over and then under and then back over. So it's just kind of weaving. And then you're gonna have your helper trade you chunks of hair. So go with your other hand. Yeah, there you go. And, and just hold that tight right there. And then you're gonna break. So you have this one strand left out. So there's three in her hand and the one that you went over, under, over, under is over here. Hang on to that. And then you're going to split this other side into three pieces. And then you're going to do the same thing. The outside piece goes over, under, and then back over. And then you're going to trade this middle, the, the one that went over, you're going to trade it over to the other hand. And then have them hold that side. So then once you come over here again, you kind of see where everything went. Just separate the pieces back out. You got this one underneath here, and then you should have four. And you're going to take the one that's furthest outside and you're going to put it over, under, and then back over. And then keep that last piece that you were working with and switch. So now same thing over here. You should have four strands again. You're going to take the outside piece over, under, over. Tighten it up. You want this nice and tight. And then you're going to switch sides. Same thing. Find your outside piece, over, under, over, switch that side, and then you have four over here, same thing. Separate them out there, there we go. Over, under, over, switch them back over. You just continue that all the way down.
Okay, so if you get a piece of hair that's a little bit shorter and thinner than the rest of them, you can split the one next to it just a little bit, and it will disrupt the braid pattern a little bit, but it will make it so you can braid further down. As soon as you can't braid anymore, you're just going to fasten it off with a clear elastic. Take a clear elastic at the end of it. And you're just going to fasten it off really tight because we're going to kind of pull on this braid a little bit and move it around. We don't want it to, to slide out and then do all of our work. So now we're going to go up here and you're just going to kind of fan out this braid. Just make it look a little bit more soft and open. And we're just going to wrap it around her forehead. So now, since she has bangs, we're just going to need to, we can take those and bobby pin them down to get them a little bit more secure. But for the most part, you're just going to try to make the standout braid look, look good on the forehead. So once you find a spot that you like, you're going to take a bobby pin. And right here on this part where the hair is, you're going to shove the bobby pin into the elastic and the other end of it into her hair. And so that will just hold it really tight right there. And then you can go up here if you have any of these poofy bangs or any problem areas with it sticking up too high, you can just come back in here and bobby pin it down. Okay, so the headband's done. Now we need to do the sides. So in the movie trailer, she has this, like a little metal piece that's right here that's really cute. Uh, I don't know how you would do that, but we'll just pretend like it's there and roll the hair into the end there just to secure it. And we're going to just bobby pin this up. There we go. And that's just going to kind of hold her hair back up. And then we're going to do the same thing over on this side just to kind of hide the part. We're just going to comb her hair up, twist it. Pin. So now the back is up to you. You can just leave it down and curly with these two ends kind of tied in a knot. Or you can do a braid. In the, in the movie trailer she does have a braid in the back. Um, I didn't get a good look at it because they only had a couple scenes, a couple different views. So you could just grab all this hair and just do a basic braid and just kind of loosen it out a little bit. That's what I'm going to do. So just do a loose braid. And then as you're braiding, you can just fan out these edges a little bit to make it thicker. And then once you get to the end, just put another clear elastic in. And then you're going to have this little part right here. Just take the two pieces and just push them up. You're just going to use another bobby pin the same color of the hair just kind of secure it up so that it kind of hides that last little bit of the part. So you just have this really loose, soft braid and then the rest of it's just curls. And that is our Katniss hairstyle. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel to get weekly updates. And if you have any requests, please let me know by commenting. Thanks.